All right, this is not going to be a review. It's not going to be a review of all the brand new stuff I just purchased from a mountain bike. It's definitely not going to be a review of this Maxxis Minion DHF. It's not going to be a review of this Race Face Arc 35 rim I just put on. And it's definitely not going to be a review of this Shimano Ice Tech rotor I also just purchased and put on my front wheel. Okay, so remember, it's not a review. It's actually me just taking my old hub and spokes out of my old rim, putting them on my new rim, and a couple suggestions on how I do it on the cheap using just the tools I have around my garage right now. Okay, so what I do is I just stick the tweezers into the spoke nipple. You just jam it in there, and you can just twist it right on out. And because of the tension of the tweezers, it holds the spoke nipple and it pulls right out. You don't have to worry about it possibly dropping into your wheel. So you can see I've taken the rim off, uh, took all the spoke nipples off and everything, and it's interesting, the spokes stayed in the right pattern, like they didn't come so loose that I had to take them out of the hub. Since I'm not replacing the hub, I'm actually just going to leave the spokes like this so I don't have to re, you know, up, down, underneath, and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to leave it just like this. and. Hopefully it'll go into the new rim without any tweaking or anything. Everything's still in the right order as far as, you know, underneath and which side and whatever. I've um, got all my spoke nipples there, and uh, once the new rim shows up, it's supposed to be delivered today, I'm going to hopefully just stick this into the new rim and put the spoke nipples on and I'll be all done. I won't have to figure out, you know, which one counting and up and you know over under whatever and make sure everything's straight all right so here's my old rim off of my trance 2 this is the giant s cross country 2 rim it's 29er uh, you can see I put the old rim strip back in there uh, this is a 29 inch rim the internal width is 19 millimeters this is the rim I got today this is a race face Arc 35. It's an aluminum rim, uh, 32 hole, but look at the size of that thing. That's 35 millimeters internal width. Look at that compared to my compared to the width of my old rim. I mean, it's almost double. It's three what three three millimeters short of being double the width of my old rim. So that should make a huge huge difference in how the wheel feels, how the tire feels on it, and uh, how low I can get the tire pressure. The Stan's No Tubes kit that I bought came with this 12 millimeter tape and the rim strip, the rubber rim strip and the valve. Uh, that is the kit that I used on my old trance tire and it worked really well. It sealed the tire and it wasn't leaking any air. But I don't have any wider rim tape than this 12 millimeter and it should be enough to cover the holes and then I'm going to use the rim tape as well that has the valve already attached and hopefully that will seal the wheel up. If it doesn't then I'll just have to buy some wider rim tape and try it again but you know I'm going to use what I have and hopefully that'll work. You can see here that per the stands kit and the instructions the valve hole here has to be 3 8 in diameter so I just drilled that out filed it down a little bit and hopefully that'll be fine. Alright so I got the hub in the center here and I'm going to start lacing it up. Okay so I laced up the wheel it's the spokes are relatively tight I've got it on my fork right now. I don't have a, uh, a chewing stand, but as you can see, it's wobbling a little bit. You can see from the top there, 
it's got a little side to side motion so I'm gonna have to go through and straighten that out tighten it all up and hopefully get it pretty true as you can see this knot review is taking place in my man cave because it's actually raining in Southern California right now so I'm stuck inside but what you're looking at is my brand new or relatively brand new race face arc 35 aluminum rim it's 29 inch this is my relatively new uh, about a week old both of these Maxxis Minion DHF it is the 29 inch by 2.3 this is their big beefy 3C max tread wide tread exo protection tire and on the other side I just put on this rim as well this brand new Ice Tech rotor that's a 203 millimeter rotor you can see I had to put on the adapter so it would actually fit uh, it's amazing. All all three things are, are, are working just amazing. I, I originally put this tire on my old rim, which was only 19 millimeters wide, which is just way too narrow for this big, beefy, you know, wide tread tire. So I got this Race Face Arc 35, 35 meaning 35 millimeter internal width. And what that did was it stretched out the bottom, the base part of this tire. So the sidewalls are much more vertical instead of bowed out, you know, it's C-shaped. They're more like this, which which gives the sidewall more strength, just like a car tire would. So it spreads the top tread out, and this tire around turns where I was normally scared or was actually slipping because I had a narrow tire on there. This tire would just grab and just hold and gave me a lot more confidence going through turns a lot faster than my old tire setup and rim you can you can see how beefy this tire is I mean the side knobs on here will just just grab and throw away anything off the sides and matched up with this rim this rim is just so wide and and runs so smooth it's just amazing I also wanted to go to the 203 millimeter ice tech rotor on the front I've been doing a lot of downhill lately and I just wanted a little bit more grab on the front wheel. I moved this thread out, which makes the brake a little more progressive, so it doesn't bite so hard at the beginning, but you have to pull through a little bit more, so it makes it softer, but at the same time, with the bigger rotor on there, you still have more braking power. It gave another thing that gave me more confidence going down a lot of the downhill tracks I've been doing recently. All right, another thing you can do to help me out is be check out some of my other videos. They're going to pop up in the corners here. One's probably a playlist. Another one's going to shoot you to another favorite video. And also click on the center on the Urban Outdoorsman logo to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.